What's poppin' is Gertie Likes, and you're tuned in to Dash Radio. Make sure you download the app so you can stay tuned. All right, everybody. This is your boy, My Juan. I'm here with a special young talent today. The beautiful, the 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 hard hitting, the incredible Sack Town's very own Gritty Lex. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. I see you got double cup. You doubled up. This is soda. You know. Okay, okay, good. We had to clear that for the kids at home. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stay off the lean, kids. No, I'm fine. No, yeah. I've really been telling kids that, though. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, but who am I to say anything? Right? No, we've all been there. Like, I, yeah, anyway, let's not talk about last night. But no, <laughs> no Gritty really. Lex, I got to chop it up with you about a year ago, mm -hmm. uh, like right in the beginning of the pandemic, and you've had a hell of a year. Yeah. You've had a hell of a year. Gritty is out. Yes. H how does that feel? Um... It feels good. I'm happy to just keep releasing music now. I felt like I was holding on to it for too long. Yeah. So well, now it's just crazy to see. The were success. you waiting for the pandemic to end? Was that why you were holding it? Um, it wasn't like we were waiting for it, but a lot of things like would mess up. Like we'd have a show or whatever, and then the they'd come out with new guidelines, uh, and then you know just certain stuff. The timing would be off. Stuff got delayed. Yeah. So it was, it, it's working out though. Yeah, For hey, it's sure. here now. For it sure. sounds good. Thank you. Um, did you make all those songs in the pandemic? I actually made most of them before COVID even started. Really? So yeah. you, you were sitting on that? Yeah, I've been sitting oh, on it. Oh shit, okay. And then we were gonna release it and then COVID came. And so Ooh. it was just like, let's hold on on stuff. Okay. So did did Macramento come from that too, or you were just, or were you just like, L let me give a small amount so and then give you all the rest l later? Yeah. Okay, because you've had busy, like you've been dropping. Yeah. You had the Blackout EP, right? Yeah. Macramento EP. Yeah. And you had Gritty. And Blackout too, also. Yeah, all yeah. within like a year or so, right? Yeah. Gritty, you have been working. <laughs> For sure. You have sure. been working. Um, so I got a part of my interviews i give every artist an album mm -hmm. and this one this one's gonna be kind of weird because like from my personal collection i just woke up this morning and knew what album i wanted to give you and I, it's gonna be weird and i'll explain it have you ever seen the movie dangerous minds um i'm assuming no because it's no. a little bit older so do you know hey this is yours it's an old school movie soundtrack i can have it yeah, Amen. it's Thank based you. off, of course, it's based off a movie in the Bay up north. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a teacher in a high school for like underprivileged kids who are seeing all this bad shit. I actually think I have seen this on like Netflix or something. Probably, probably. It was like, you a, know it, gave song? Me, it gave me like hip hop breakfast club vibes. Yeah, it's exactly yeah. what it's like. Yeah, it's exactly what it's like. And like the movie, they're all trying to she's trying to like keep everyone in the hood together almost like there's a better tomorrow type shit. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to give that to you because you've been through a lot. Like just hearing <laughs> your story, the last time I talked to you, but the craziest thing about you is you're so positive. Yeah. Everything I see you post on Instagram, we talk, even being with you in the flesh. And so to me, it's like dangerous minds. Like you, you're, you've seen everything. Like you've been in so many tough environments. How does Gritty stay smiling through all of it? Um. It's just like your mindset and mm. your, you know, I feel like you just got to do it sometimes. It's like, no matter what it is, you just got to, you got to see it through my yeah, boy. Like, absolutely. you know what I mean? It is what it is. If you can't change it, then don't stress too much. If you can change it, then always, you know, try to work on becoming better and yeah. or better in the situation. But, you know. I love that. That's like one of my favorite uh, Bible quotes is this serenity prayer where it's like, God, give me the not the knowledge or God, give me the strength to change the things I can, the wisdom to like know the things I can. You know what I mean? And to understand the difference. Like, yeah, you, you're, you are gritty legs. You can smoke whatever you want. Hey. Here. After Soldier Boy came through, he just sparked the blunt. All of us looked. We're not supposed to smoke in here, but you're good with the vape. Um, OK, so. That, so your mind state is kind of, if you can't change it, just let it be? Yeah, and also not even, like, it could be worse. 
That's true. It's a lot of things that help me like build this mindset to where it's like now I don't even have to think about it. It's just how I am. But at one point it was like, like you know, everything feels like the world's ending and stuff. Absolutely. And Gritty, you, you went through a lot. I know your parents went through a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And I know yeah. you were, you were going to be a soccer phenom, right? Like a star. <laughs> right. How yeah. far do you think you, just out of curiosity, like you think you would have got it into college and played? Oh, yeah. I had oh, a, you were that nice? Yeah, I had offers. I was going to play internationally. Gritty had offers to play internationally? Yeah, I signed. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's get this on paper. The best soccer player in hip hop. Can we say that? Is there anyone um, else? I can't think of anybody else. I don't know, to my knowledge. Yeah, to my knowledge, to nah. my knowledge, I'm going to say it right now. Gritty is the coldest on the field. Yes, from, sir. Allegedly, from what, from what you're saying, you know, we'll have to fact check that somehow. We can get a game. Okay, I'm not nice but at all. I'll play for money, though. No, I'm not going to lie. I probably don't have the stamina. <laughs> That's what I never had. I from played a full game of soccer once, threw up. Oh, wow. Yeah, that shit is. Yeah, we'd have to practice until we threw up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk about music. So mm -hmm. around that time, um, you were going through a lot, right? I imagine you were in high school. Um, yes. Well, I made music after high school. I never In high school, I never even thought about making music. That's crazy. And you, like, out the gates, you just knew it was good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it, it was, yeah. I remember <laughs> you told me that you went to the studio your boy worked at I think uh, he was in there that night yeah my boy Devin my Devin, best and you you recorded and you were like yo it's kind of fire like I'm kind of nice yeah they're just I was I was off acid so they're like shout out to the acid man that shit came out good yeah I was like no I don't want to do it like that's lame yeah and then like just do it like female rap like whatever and I'm just yeah. like okay and then I tried it and then it wasn't like female rap though they were like oh I thought you were gonna be because like I'm from Sacramento so it's like a lot of politics and stuff so I think it was different people were not expecting me to have the waves uh, but you know absolutely I'm like more of a vibe than a rapper you are yeah you I'm like, not a rapper that's what I wanted to ask you actually uh if, if, if someone put like a gun to your head and said you got to pick one rapper or singer um, Do you singing. have one you'd pick? Yeah, I feel like you're more of a singer. Yeah. You know you give me vibes of? You remind me of, like, if, like, Pilo and Kehlani had a baby. <laughs> That's a cool one. You know what I mean? That's Because cool. you're, you're real hype. Your music's really hyping up there, but you, you give me a similar energy of Kehlani. I remember you said that on the yeah. live, yeah. You really do, because you're just positive. Yeah. And you, you have so many reasons not to be. Like, God bless your soul. You've, you've, you've been Thank through you. some shit, you know? Have you met Kehlani? Yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. She awesome. used she picked up my calls until 2016. I swear to God, <laughs> she one got of my homies, yeah, she took off out of here. <laughs> that Grammy, I swear to. God. Not that I like, I I got I got nothing for her. I still got her number, and every once in a while, I look to make sure it's still blue. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, it's still there. Yeah. Uh, last time, the last time I hit <laughs> Kaylani, she used to date one of my homies, so we used to talk. She would check up on him. Like, how's he doing? How's his life going? Blah, blah, blah. That's, That's nice. how I knew she was hella cool, because she would check up on her ex, like, all the time and be like, don't don't tell him. I just want to know, is he happy? Is he healthy? Is he eating? So anyway, I get the same vibe off you. I can tell you're just a good human being. Um, but you came. You came from, you know, Sacramento. You probably seen some shit. Um, yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine, because you kind of carry yourself like a rapper. In the sense, like, I see you out there, like, you know, in the stew or, yeah, you know, I got bands on me. Yeah. I'm but when I listen to your music, you're not really a rapper. Which yeah, all cool. my friends are rappers. Yeah, like, I, I could tell. Yeah. I saw your album cover and I said, oh, my God, that shit actually re reminded me of some Kendrick shit, like, on the um, block, posted up, and then there was you in the little cartoon. Cartoon, yeah. Um, so, like, that with that tape, that was more, like, my introduction to rap. So that tape was, like... You know, gritty? yeah, it like, did. I, like I, I'm gonna give that gritty Sacramento mm -hmm. edge, you know, female rap kind of thing. But it was like, of course, my style. So it yeah. wasn't. I don't think it, it sounds like anything people have heard before. Nah, it's different, and it, it didn't even sound like Macramento and Blackout. This was very hard hitting. Like yeah. it fit gritty. Yeah. Gritty. I'd say my favorite track is Movie. It's the one that like Movie with my mom. Shut really up, stuck. It just was really like. The thing I've always, since that first time we hopped on IG Live, it's just you give like a positive energy. 
I just feel good after any interaction with you. If I scroll through the feed and I see you, I'm like, oh shit, cool, chilling, you know? Um, when you did this album, do you feel like you were in a positive mind state? Um, so, it was, um, at the time of those songs, for some of them, no, because I also made it, like, like I said, they were like older, so I probably was going through some things that I, I hadn't like really, I'm still not kind of aware of the stuff that's happening. Like, you know, I'm, I'm aware of myself and stuff, but it takes time to like reflect on situations. Yeah. And then I could be like, oh, I understand like why I was in this mood or like, or you know what I mean? why you felt that way at the time. Right? But sometimes I'm just like, fuck it so much yeah. that like I don't, care at in this in that time and then later i'll end up being like okay i did too much or i could have not taken my anger out on yeah on that song you know, or that that night yeah well so you said all this music was recorded before the pandemic and most of it yeah you know i still want to talk about the album but i i'm, I'm just curious you probably are sitting on some Shh. some records right now Shh. Because I know you were busy in the pandemic. I saw you on the gram in the, in the stew, night in, night out. Yeah, we have like 500 songs right Ooh, now. We got 500 unreleased great. Hey, I'm going to try to get a hard drive, y'all. I'm going to try to get it. We're going to leak this My management to doesn't even have my hard drive. <laughs> Damn, never mind, y'all. I don't know how I'm going to get it. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I wouldn't do that to you. Um, but what, are you, is it weird as like these songs have been out? They're just out, right? The album came out August 3rd, August 6th, I think. I don't even know. So when the album <laughs> came out, were you already, like, these are all played out for you already? It's, yeah. That's what everyone tells me. I make a banger, and then I'm just like, oh, this is hard. Like, I'm going crazy. And, like, I don't realize that, like, people have not heard it. So I, I beat myself up a little bit sometimes. You play it. You, oh, what do they call it? You play it out before yeah it's in, in my car and shit that's what everyone says though like oh jeezy i watched one of his interviews and he's like i couldn't wait to get this album out bro i've been singing this shit in my home like all year yeah. just waiting to get it out to to the world so um you've you've in this past you know year i'd say the biggest change i've seen is your music just keeps getting sharper and sharper and sharper have you been able to link with any like names that you were like oh, can't believe it or anyone dope um mm, so um the weekend's brother like the weekend's camp is probably the biggest like xo yeah nice. shout out xo man shout out cash sal well oh, yeah. i haven't talked to them but i've talked to his blood family That's like what's up. yeah shout out hawk wow. and he'll what's be like his hawk name? Hawk. Yeah. Hawk. I'm gonna find Hawk on the gram and just DM him. I love you, brother, bro. I love you, brother, bro. I love you, brother, bro. <laughs> I'm sure he gets that all the time. But he's he's a dope. He's a dope person too. He makes like clothes and stuff too. Anybody and you work with a lot lot of people from back home, right? Yes. So yeah. Um that's what I'm saying. Like it's dope, but like I have I don't know if there's like big names. And then I've been around a lot of big names though where I was like, oh like I'll I'm really in a room with like, like Chief Keef. Like I was like, okay, like <laughs> you feel me? But I haven't been able to make music with a lot of people. But a lot of people have reached out to me that I was okay. like, oh shit. It's like, coming though, cause now you got gritty out, so you got mm -hmm. a body of works, like a resume. Yeah. So everyone's gonna be knocking now. Yeah. I can imagine. Have you have you got starstruck yet with anybody? Um. Not no. No. Good for you. Good yeah. for you. I'm not like too like easily impressed too. Cause at the end of the day, like everybody's just a person. So true, true. I just be vibing out. It's gonna happen. But eventually. I do. There are people where I'm like, like it just makes me like, wow, I'm doing something. Like yeah, I'm, you know, absolutely. But we knew it was gonna happen. So that's also why I'm not like crazy impressed. It's just gonna get bigger. So it's like I absolutely. can't wait every day. Like I think like when you meet like. Riri, when you run into like Rihanna yes, or like Beyonce, sure. it's gonna be something. That's crazy, yes. I met Shaq like a month ago, I was frozen. <laughs> I was dead ass frozen. I just kept looking. And like I was interviewing him, I couldn't even talk. I was like breathing all heavy when I watched the video and shit, so it's gonna happen, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so musically, you don't really like, it's tough for me to compare you to anybody. You're kind of like on your own vibe, as you said. Thank you. I 
really appreciate that. No, nah, you you <laughs> really are because it's just unique. That's why I say like Pilo and Kaylani, you're kind of in the middle to me because you're hyped. Mm-hmm. You give me that bay like. Uh, uh. I got um, Janae Aiko and XXX had a baby. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll I take can see that, that one yeah, too. Like, yeah. I get all these like baby like. Baby comparisons, yeah. like if this person and that person had a baby. Yeah. Just because there's really nobody, it's hard to, to pick one individual to compare you to. Mm-hmm. Um, but who are some of the artists? I know Juice World was one. For sure. And X, XXX. Is there mm-hmm. any other artists that you felt like inspired you, your style? The Weeknd. The Weeknd. Mm-hmm. So that's why I was crazy. Well, I see how that happened then because I was inspired by The Weeknd. So. Oh, I should have given you a Weeknd album. I got his whole collection upstairs i fuck with the weekend heavy i wouldn't be able to pick you remember <laughs> house of balloons mm-hmm. that shit was so crazy yeah. i still find it incredibly hard to believe that he sang about cocaine on the tonight show when he did i can't feel my face mm-hmm. like this dude boldly went on public tv and said like, like i'm doing cocaine when i'm with you but like saying it with the harmony and shit you know yeah like, i remember watching that and i was like bro you're the king of the world like that shit was crazy dude. super raw yeah yeah um what did you think of after hours after hours the his last album he's a legend right but um after hours no that was dope i think every project that he has is just like a different that's what i kind of try to do as well like we're learning about you know a new we keep growing yeah yeah especially as artists and just you know people like we grow we go through things so i think it's just a different side but mm. i like i love the dark edgy r&b weekend yeah. like that's just like i don't care i get into arguments with my friends like because they'll say like oh you know this is the best person this is the best artist and i'm just like the weekend like i, I agree i think the weekend's <laughs> like cream of the crop Right yeah, now. very especially he like a big one. he hasn't missed, but I want to highlight you haven't missed yet either so far. Project for project, you've been hitting it like on point. Thank so you. please don't miss. You got to hold down. You know, Sacramento. Man, I can never miss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Sacramento, are you still living up there? You move out here yet to LA? Nah, uh, I just got a new house. I got a new house now in Sacramento. Yeah. I still live in Sacramento. Congratulations. There we go. Thank you. A lot of people will keep saying, like, like ask me when I'm going to move out. And I just want to be that person that stays in my hometown. But, I mean, of course, eventually, I'm just going to have different properties. Yeah. Everywhere. I like how she said properties. Yeah. That's how you know you got your mind on your money. You didn't say houses. You said properties. I Mm. fuck with that. Um, Yeah, you got to. Lil Baby is a great example. He says, like, he won't leave Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And because he feels like if he leaves Atlanta, he's going to lose touch with what made him so dope. Exactly. And, with, and with, what we all fell in love with. Mm-hmm. Um, so can I ask you about some of the tattoos? Mm-hmm. What's this one? I can uh, tell that one I can't say. Okay, okay. But that's, is that a different, it's a different language, right? Yeah, it's Japanese. Oh, I, fu- I fuck with that. Oh, yeah, wait, I got it. I've been practicing this all day. Fuck. Genochai? Iko- Ikochinai. Ikochinai. Yeah. Ikochinai. Google did not say it like that. I swear to God. Oh, I thought these Japanese dudes heard me for some reason. They turned their head right when I said that. Ginochinai. Ginochinai. The Korean. That's a... Oh. No, I'm, I'm totally playing. Oh, I don't I love know. I'd like, yo, fam, you're going to get me canceled. Yo, if anyone see, saw what I saw on the other side, it's very ambiguous. But no, um, that's how you say gritty in Japanese, right? Yeah. So you, your Japanese roots are really in there. Yeah, I'm black and Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love um, the Japanese culture. What's this, if you don't mind? Oh, it yeah. says highest. Highest. I fuck with that. Why did you choose to have it there? Um, I don't know. Just like head up, like highest. Oh, like, uh, like keep your head up type shit. In a way, but also you know. The highest, things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The <laughs> highest in the room. You yeah, know, but if like we, we want to put a positive thing, like, yeah. Yeah, just keep, keep your, your head, head high. up. For all the kids at home, <laughs> keep your head up and yes. stay off the lean. No, um, the Joker one, was that from the movie? Was that like straight inspired from, uh, what's his name? So actually, um, people ask me that all the time. I've, I, at the time, I never saw that movie. So I don't know, I've never seen. I remember you told me that. That's yeah. why I asked you again. I wanted to see if you're <laughs> s- 
story followed up. If okay, I was so you're with you? yeah, so you're not capping. You really had that no. before the whole well, Suicide Squad shit. I wasn't aware that it was. I never saw it before, mm -hmm. so I really got it because I was camera shy. I used to be. I had a phobia of being in front of like the camera. Like I don't know something oh. about it was just like super weird to me. Yeah. So I would do it because now everybody takes pictures of me and shit. So I just did that to where it's like you can't even like it's just super easy. It has my cool. face. Yeah. And then it, like I don't know. It's my favorite tattoo though. Everybody be like, do the hand thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, like, there okay. you go. Do you have you got annoyed of it yet? No. Okay, don't. I completely don't. understand. You know, like, eventually, you remember uh, the Black Panther dude? After the movie Black Panther, he kept having to do this. Um, eventually, there were shots where he's like, you can just tell, he's like, fuck me, I can't believe I'm doing this shit again. Yeah. I can't wait to see a picture of you. You won't be able to tell because you're Yeah, you won't even smile. be able to tell. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. <laughs> when did you start getting tatted up? Um, I got my first tattoo when I was uh, 16. 16. 16. How old are you now, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 21. 21. I searched the web up and down, cannot find your age. Mm -hmm. You've done a good job hiding that shit. There was not one website that was going to tell me. I was trying to guess based off. I went to your Instagram and tried to find your last birthday post mm -hmm. to then see if there was like a number somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. We got the breaking right here. 21. Yeah. I don't do a lot of interviews. I don't. I still, I don't really like it, but of course, you're my boy, so oh, I that. I appreciate that, great. Well, shit, I'm honored to have you in, you know what I mean? I think it's important. I know you don't like doing interviews, but you're at the point now where yeah, a lot no. of little girls are going to look up to you. Even a lot of little boys are going to be like, I want to be like that. Like, they're going to yeah. want to live your life and carry your energy, so. Yeah, a lot of people, like, they'll be like, oh, she slaps, but they, that mystery, like, they didn't know, so I feel like doing more interviews as an artist, will be able to let your fans and your audience um, get a sense of like who you are personally. Yeah, and like really and connect then, with you. Yeah, but they already connect off the sound, just the stuff I be talking the way. We, yeah, you know what I mean. Music is another language in a way, another source of communication. I feel like absolutely. Now, what what I want to end it with? What advice do you got for? There's a lot of people, you know, I didn't want to jump into all of it because people can look up your s story, but for the kids at home, like the young 16, 17, 18 year olds going through it all, especially like coming from bad s situations, what advice would you give them? Mm. <laughs> That's funny because honestly, I feel like I'm a person where it's like, who am I to tell you what to do? But I think more people need to have like, it's not the end of the world. And if you can just keep it, keep being focused and do whatever you want to do as long as you're not harming yourself. I mean, but. I like that. Yeah. Like, like you said, as long as you don't harm yourself at the yeah. end of the day, it's yeah. not the end of the world. Whatever you are going through. Yeah, like whatever you want, like your your reality is your perspective. You can make anything happen, really. If your mindset is set on something, then um, absolutely, it's very difficult for me to articulate it into no, words. No, but you're right. If you wake up and say I'm gonna have a fucked up day, you're gonna have a fucked up yeah. day. Yeah. Versus, I had to, I'm still learning that shit. Yeah, I absolutely. Like, oh, like even on bad days, I try to tell myself, like, yo, it's not that bad of a day. It's not that bad of a day. It's not that bad of a day. Because what we end up, like, accepting here ends up materializing, you know? Yeah, manifestation's real. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to manifest this right now. Gritty Lex is going to be on the road soon, right? Oh, yes. Tour coming soon? Yes, sir. Tour starts on my birthday, September 25th. Ooh, birthday in a few weeks? Yeah, I'll be, hey. I'll be 22 or whatever. 20, 20, yep, every, I love the way you said it, because every birthday after 21 fucking sucks. But my experience. <laughs> we just don't tell now. me that. <laughs> <laughs> you just getting old now, Gritty. You're not young anymore. No, yeah, you I feel super old. Nah, you're still young. You're still young. <laughs> well, Gritty the Project, very mature, even though how young you are. I'm excited mm -hmm. to see what's next. I can't wait to hear... The, the body of work you made, these 500 songs, you know? I'm sure we'll get like 20 of them if we're lucky, 25, I hope. Yes. Um, I have a project drop in um, December, and then we'll drop again damn. at the beginning of next year. Damn, Gritty is uh, busy. Yes, sir. Keeping it gritty, okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Where can we find you on the gram and everywhere? 
Um, I'm on all the social media platforms at Gritty Legs, G R I T T Y L E X. Okay. Gritty Legs, yes, sir. Nope. If y'all are not tapped in, go tap in right now and wake up, everybody, because Gritty is, if, if, if she's not already on your radar, you're tripping. Because I'm telling you, ever since I heard Macramento and Blackout, I was like, I can't wait to see just what comes next. Oh, yeah, we got Rolling Loud December as well. Oh, shit. Got a really, lot of shit. You're really going to be on the road. Yeah. You're it's really gonna, up. Every day is going to be up from here. There we go. Everybody, Gritty Lex, this is Dash Radio, your boy, My Wand. I'm honored to have you here. Thank you for your time. All love. I'm going to get a matching tat next time we're going to do this <laughs> together. Yes, please. No. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. We're out.